Welcome to Tales from the Majestic Mothership. Majestic Hudson fosters connection, inspires creativity, and supports a compassionate lifestyle one blissful experience at a time. Please follow us at MajesticHudson.com and all social media where we can help you follow your bliss. We're back. We're back, finally. I know. I mean, not that finally is like a thing. It's just, you know, we're, we're happy to be here. I know. There's been a lot of Mercuries that we have gone through and are t- currently going through. <laughs> Mercury eclipses a heat wave for I those know. of you in New York. Oh, Ugh. good Lord. And Boston. Yesterday, yeah. were you okay. enjoying the 95 degree weather yesterday? It was like literally the time, it was like thir- went for 30 degree difference. Is that allowed in the universe? Isn't there like a statute of limitations on temperature changes? <laughs> you would think. <laughs> <laughs> everything else is limited like why, oh, why I, know, the right. I know like, they're gonna limit my fucking uterus i know how about the how about the temperature yeah. sorry i went there already people That's yeah fine. I, I was on vacation and i didn't i didn't i relaxed i didn't like you know let let things in 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 our political climate affect me yeah but i i did the same time. thing via just like completely disconnecting I was like, you know what? Like my boyfriend was asking me because he he was a poli sci major. It's in his blood to have these discussions. And he was trying (laughs) to like fish for like my thoughts and feelings to potentially have like a nice, inspiring conversation. And I was like, tricky. He's a tricky one. He's a trickster. I was like, with all due respect, no. I'm not (laughs) talking about this right now. I want to eat my ice cream and say to the politicians like, all right, fine. But can we do something about this heat? If yeah, no, like, no, back to back to that. It's like yeah. you know, where it's it's the word is insufferable. Yeah. It works for lots of things. It's very applicable to, <laughs> to the both the political and the living climate that we're exactly, in. Exactly, exactly. Like, it's just it's so we're gonna focus clearly on the Hudson Valley in New York. In this area, I should say the Northeast, because this is basically what's going on right now. Yeah. So it feels like we just like turned a switch and we're in a new season. Yeah, I know. So, so you know, the first thing I was thinking that we could talk about because we get a lot of time to prep is that I'm just going to pretend it's June already. I've already decided it's a whole hiatus. May. Yeah. It's a joke. Not a big fan. No. Don't not like a big it. fan. Not a big fan. This particular May, it's no. going. It's going to be June. But what happens in June? Our birthday. Yes. Let's totally, go. Let's be totally. It's our month, man. I know. Gemini it's, manifestor babies take yeah, over the world. Yeah. yeah. Well, or cancer manifestors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll take you down. No, just kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I forgot. I forgot. Yes. I know. I was going to say it's in two different signs, though, which that's is so true. cool. That's true. Yeah. Oh, my God. We got some air. We got some water. And that's summer. That's summer for you. In that yeah. Show, right? That's a trip to the beach, dare exactly. I say. Literally. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. It's phenomenal. Yeah. I, I got to say, man, May, I'm not my favorite. The fourth no. was not with me. Uh, the pollen <laughs> was. The pollen is out of control. Oh my god! <laughs> like I'm, I'm dying right now. And every time in June, I always, I make a full recovery. I get to stop taking my Allegra. So I'm yeah, I really see, like your eyes. I can even see over like they just look like I know. Water. I'm, I'm not stoned. I swear, guys. I'm no, just, I'm just suffering from the trees. Like you yeah. walk into the cop, like the public garden, and it's a bloodbath for oh people god. like me. Like it is <laughs> so polleny. It's bad oh when you like you walk by the cars and you can like see the green fluffy film yeah. on the cars. Like yeah. that's that's a dead zone for me. Yeah, yeah, no, not good. Oh God. Yeah. So, I'm so sorry. it's okay. We're hanging in there. I've got my secret weapons. I got my eye drops. My like flow nays. My roommates <laughs> tell me it looks like I'm doing a bump before I leave the house. It's <laughs> like. <laughs> Do we have to explain what a bump is? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, guys, it's my prescription bump. Like, <laughs> so I can step outside and not feel like I'm like 
literally gonna have my eyes swollen shut from oh, just how itchy they are. Thing. It's so terrible. Oh my god. Not I know. Good. Not good yeah. at all. The Brits are not equipped for the pollen <laughs> in this weather. We don't have it in us. We're we're good with the rain. Yeah, I love we're, the rain. We're, we're good with the bangers and mash or whatever. I've never <laughs> been to England. Now. What the hell do I know? Well, um, the food there is crap. I'll say it. It's is just it? Okay. awful. Yeah. But no. the Guinness. Delish. Oh, there we go. Guinness is delicious. Um yeah, so I feel like I don't know, I would just roll into this a little bit. Like there's so many things I was thinking about. Um well oh God, Ellie, there's so many things to think about. I mean, we I can know. talk about I mean, I really just want to see like let's talk about summertime people and like floating in. Let's talk about trends, let's talk about how we survived the eclipse. Let's yeah. Eclipses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's talk about, you know, just keep talking. I mean, we're good. We're even talking about, I mean, I'm gonna say too. I mean, who cares? People don't have to know, but um, but I did I did sign up for a Cheryl Street <gasps> thing. Let's go. Oh, yeah. that's so uh, exciting. I think two content creators walk into Omega. I know. Um, <laughs> um anyway, no, we're just we are very inspired. People should know that um and it's a it's a way of manifesting that when you manifest things, you, it's important to have uh, not only your tribe but to have expanders. Yeah, people who are out there, people who inspire you, people who have been on similar journeys and things like that. And you know, um, not this is not an this is not an advertisement whatsoever. But um, I think we could both say that we're both like inspired by Cheryl Street and her work. And yes, you know, and she's just like whip smart and. And, uh, and I want June into fall, you know, I want the summer to be more about that. You know, there's yeah. a settling in that comes right now. In fact, I have tossed the Iching coins religiously once or twice a week for the past, like three months, four months, every fucking one of them stillness. You need yep. to be in stillness. You need to be in retreat. You need to be in retreat. You need stillness. Yeah. And I I'm good at that, but you know yeah. what? I kind of want to have fun now. Yeah. I want to go do something. I want to, yeah. do, I want to listen to music. I want to be outside. I want, I took a bike ride today. Let's go. I took a yeah. scoot today. Did a oh, you're scoot. scooter. <laughs> oh my God. Why is there not a TikTok with you on the scooter? Because you're going to, uh, because I value my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I, somebody else could make the video for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll hit up Nina. I'll be like, yeah. I need you to take a video of me scooting down. <laughs> I love it. I love I it. I know. And today, I mean, it's, you know, it is still allergy season for me, but today is just beautiful. Like we're 67, we're cruising. Like it's yeah. so nice. Like yeah. it compared to yesterday when I was like, I'll die on this street. I'll just lay myself to rest because <laughs> oh. this sucks. Why is it so fucking oh hot? God. Oh my God. So today really like today, like gave me like a nice little, it was, it felt like a pat on the back from mother nature. She was nice. like, I'm sorry for your suffering. Please mm-hmm. go out and enjoy, enjoy the sunshine and the, and the cool weather. I got to turn my AC off for the first time in like four days. That was nice. Yeah. Oh, I had it going. I had it going. Yeah. Um, well, and you know, one thing that we did, I should give a, we should give a, a huge shout out to um, happy birthday, Katona. Yeah. So like we literally, you know, considering this is like our little birthplace in many ways, um, we had 125th celebration of Katona this past weekend in town. Yeah. And we participated, Majestic Hudson participated, which was kind of awesome. So for those of you who don't know, so here's a little history. So the town, the hamlet of Katona actually didn't exist where it is right now. It existed, um, I think it was a mile south, I think, or it could be north. I don't remember offhand. Right. But then, like, then, like, plannings started coming in. They needed to make reservoirs to bring water to New York City and urban planning and things like that. And they're like, well, we're either going to flood your town or you can move it. (laughs) And we're like, all of our Queen Anne Victorians? No. Right. (laughs) So they literally put them on, like, you know, whatever, wagons and trolleys and things like that had them pulled by oxen a mile north and replanted the town where it is today. Yep. So this weekend was 125 25th anniversary of that. And it was really cool because somebody came up with the genius idea of taking little radio flyer wagons and pulling decorated doll houses. That's you saw it. You saw it. But like folks out there, just please watch our Instagram and our Facebook because there's some cool videos and, and pictures of, of us pulling our little decorated um, 
Victorian dollhouse. It was it's really so fun cute. to make. It was and so fun to make. If you're my generation and you went to Katona Elementary School, yes. you remember the assembly where we learned about this. You remember the play we were in performing oh, this. Right. Like, yeah, we were in our little oh, moving of Katona plays. So like, old school. I don't I think Althea even did that, actually. That's oh, so funny. Really? Yeah. yeah. So it's like more dear to you. That's true. Yeah. No, it was it was great. I, I loved it. I was like, finally, something that we get to learn about. That's not the American revolution. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. That's always that kind of stuff. And I'm not like, I'm like, I'm a history buff, but not a history buff. You know, we like, you know, we'll, we'll always tease out stories here right. in particular, but like, I'm not good with dates of wars no. and things and stuff like that. No. Like, Terrible. I, I kind of know birthdays. I'm kind of good with birthdays, sort of. Yeah. If I like you that week. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah. I, (laughs) I, I just luckily my family for me and my boyfriend, they have birthdays that are easy to remember. So Mm -hmm. I just like lucked out with that. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Um, Hopefully Andrew remembers my birthday or else he's fucked. (laughs) Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's on the top of the list. You got to remember birthdays. You got to text things like, you know, I I definitely had a thing was like, you know, if you don't text me happy mother's day you're off the list right you know it's true my mom now you know you better say merry christmas yeah you yeah. know you know you, you might even have to say happy full moon <laughs> with you you will have to say happy full moon <laughs> like you want to win my heart just text me hey did you see that moon tonight i know <laughs> hey did you see that moon tonight <laughs> Think of the sexiest voice possible. Yeah, literally. Oh my God, or funny. else she cuts your pay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh <laughs> I'm just so, kidding. I know. But what's been what's been going on with you guys? You lately? Oh my God. Well, I went on my first yoga retreat ever. Oh in yes! my life. Um, and it was life change. I mean, of course, like I had to go to the one that was the creative writing workshop. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, I mean, it's not advertising, even though it'll sound like it, because I've now fallen in love with this woman. It was led by Cheryl Strayed, Mm -hmm. who, whose whole like best-selling novel is about basically an unintentional accidental retreat. That's basically saved her life and made her realize, you know, what she has to do in order to move forward. Mm -hmm. And so it was just, it was so great. Like I, it was very down to earth, but like, I felt very connected with all of the, it was mostly women there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then like a few like gay men and then like one straight guy. Um, and he was popular and he was, (laughs) um, and so, but it was just, it was so great. Like it just like revved up my creative gas. And like, I just realized I'm, I'm in my own way. Like, I really just have to like buckle down and focus on, you know, getting a manuscript out. Like, yes. Yeah. Grad classes are great. And like my job, like requires me to think creatively in a different way, which is also really beneficial. Um, but additionally, I just really need to make that time. And that was what she was really getting at was, you know, don't worry about like, following the trends and the marketing aspects of what's successful or popular, like no, worry about that you. You later. That's yeah. authenticity right there. That's like half mm-hmm. of what we talk about, you know, in terms of like when we do, um, well, how we teach people to be themselves and meditate and be yeah. in your power, you know, whether you have whatever modality you want to wed yeah. yourself to, you know? Yeah. And mm-hmm. it was, it was just like this, like heavenly routine of doing like, a five hour writing workshop, hour rest, go to an hour yoga class and then eat. Yeah. And I was like, I could do this forever. I Mm. love eating yoga and writing. That's like all I want to do. And I did, I did get a massage because I had to. Oh, they have some good Reiki. Oh my God. It was the best massage I've ever had in my life. I loved it. Like, so I really just like, was like, I'm just going to indulge experience every aspect of it. And it just, it left me so inspired. I was like, I just have to keep 
going to these types of retreats at least yeah. once a year. Yeah. Like I really didn't realize how vital it's going to be for my, you know, creative spirit as it grows and fluctuates and whatnot. Cause it just like, I just got so much clarity. I didn't realize how stagnant I had been with my writing until I went there. Well, we get into, we get into these routines, you know? I mean, yeah. that's like, I think what led me also, um, well, you know what? Well, again, we're not plugging, but we could talk about it. I mean, Omega is where I first thought about where I sort of started to sort of take in the idea of retreats as well. Right. And I knew that would be part of my life's work and helping people like guide themselves because I need it too. You yeah. know, I need to go places. I can't just like sit at Majestic Hudson all day and think it's like, I'm here for you guys. You know, I'm here for myself as well, for my right. own calling, yeah. but it's really important. I mean, I went to, um, I went to a retreat of uh, music and the myth with Donovan Leach when I, in 1996, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And I read Joseph Campbell and then we read everything. We watched like indie films and we sat there writing poetry and he wrote songs together and we all meditated. It was just like, yeah, I mean, if that's not a combination of creativity and spirituality, like, and I have to say that's still one of the best retreats I ever went on. And he's not even like a, on the retreat circuit. He's just right. like an incredible, you know, manifesting musician who's mm -hmm. super spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. And like, it was just, it was so cool to like find, find my own rhythm. Like, of course, a creative writing retreat infused with yoga is going to be my shit where like, yeah. <laughs> I just totally like, like, I literally, I like, I got back, I went to the chiropractor and he was like, this is the best I've seen you. Like he was like, and I was like, dude, it's the yoga and it's the uh -huh. writing. Like yeah. Yeah. I'm so on my game with it right now. Like I'm just feeling so inspired and like, it makes sense for me because I always kind of have this energy, like as I'm transitioning um, mm -hmm. to summer and also as I get a year older, like that in particular, just like brings a lot of perspective and thankfulness and, you know, wonders about, you know, future steps. And that's like creative life, educational yeah. outside. It's good timing. Um, it's really, yeah. really, really good timing for you. Yeah. yeah it's great. I can what about that. you? Um, you just reminded me of something else too. One time I came off of a retreat. Um, yeah. And I'll let you know what else I have thinking about anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just kind of brewing new moon stuff because I right. will not be around next weekend for that. I mean, I will be on this planet for the new moon. Yes, I will be, but I will we not. We hope so. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm doing new moon rituals this week and I had some ideas I could run by you. Uh, but I remember coming off of retreats, like I was on a Jack Cornfield retreat once, which was a silent retreat. Wow. Oh, and I started to notice something that one in particular, I got home and you've realized like you're not talking for like a while, yeah. like seven days, you know? Yeah. Um, and I got home and it was like, right. like somebody had literally like put espresso like straight into my vein. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stop. I cleaned my whole house. I was, I was in the studio. I was just like, it was like pure prana. Right. Like just like gushing through my veins, like uncontrollable energy, but in this like really, really like beautiful way. It was like, you clean it out. You clean out the residue on retreats. Oh you yeah make space for like clean energy to be coming through. Yeah. Yeah. I really, I felt so much gunk, like leave my spirit while mm -hmm. I was there. And like, and so it wasn't a silent retreat, but we did do silent breakfast mm -hmm. um, every morning. And like my aunt and I would be like sitting there with our coffees, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I like at Kripalu, they give you like a little tag that says in loving silence. Yes. So you know, like who you can't talk to because exactly. you know me I'll talk to anybody I don't want to cramp your style like oh she's wearing that tag right <laughs> see I have the opposite I'm like I'm gonna assume everyone is in loving silence for my own social anxiety <laughs> and I'm just gonna waddle <laughs> right along I, I just want one that says talk to me <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, do you guys have any more extra in loving silence tags? <laughs> I still have mine here. I love it. It's that's so good. funny. Um, well, that's another thing too. So we did our 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 one of our first, I should say, um in-house retreat this past week. How we, did it go? I, I could say we did uh, a staff retreat for a, a, a nonprofit organization. It was just a few hours, it was and it was great. 
It was really great. It was really nice. So, you know, we carry these torches, like you'll do it too someday. You know, you might be teaching some stuff with us this summer. So that would be cool. Yay. (laughs) Um, And it's important. So we see it from both sides of the coin, which I think is kind of like incredible. Yeah. Um, And this is the time to capture it with our birthdays coming up and all this other kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was thinking... You know what? I'll talk about what I was thinking about. And then we should, well, we could talk about Jade because yes, you know, cause there's a lot of history with Jade, a lot of, lot of history with Jade. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so with the flower, like, like this time of year with like the flowers are, is it me or is it, it's the heat? Are you like the flowers are like on point, like earlier than normal. And that's probably because of the heat, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, right now, the flowers are my worst enemy due to the, uh, <laughs> You're like, the I... uh, I'm like, fuck the flip. No, just, <laughs> but, um, no, I did notice that because we, in my street in particular, we have, um, we, the t- tulips in particular are mm. like, the tulips are one out for blood two gorgeous. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you know, I, I have definitely noticed that. And especially with, you know, there's a lot for me personally, anxiety in my narrative. And this is also partially because I decided to take a literature class this summer that is literally the literature of climate change. Um, so with the anxiousness that kind of comes around the seasons, it is really nice to at the very least see that, you know, organisms are still in their routine. You know, Mm -hmm. they're still like they're evolving in their own way. And this isn't to say we should be ignorant and, you know, not be concerned, but there is a little bit of, um, I guess, um, assurance in knowing that, you know, organisms are evolving Mm -hmm. and, and they're beautiful Mm -hmm. and they are still growing and they're still doing their life cycle. Um, and, I don't know. I just found that to be um, important. Um, it, well, I like it, that you said the life cycle, because like the thing that's been coming to me a lot is the idea of like, it's the flowers, but also like the, the, the life cycle of flowers. Yeah. Like, and, and one thing that, that I was thinking about was doing like press flowers for our new moon ritual. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Right. Like, I yeah. just feel like that's some, there's a component to that, that I think, and this is a teaser for anybody that'll be at our event Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. So, uh, um, but I, that's what's been coming to me. Also, did you know, look at, let me see your nails. What's on your nails right now? A whole bunch of shit. <laughs> we got it's a like flower. It's like Wonderland going on there. I know. Yeah. We got a flower, uh-huh. two flowers, uh-huh. little checker, uh-huh. swirly, and then another swirly on the Oh my back. God, nice. Yeah. There's a new trend of pressed flowers on nails. Oh, I've seen that. Oh, I'm going to be all over that. Yeah. My other roommate, uh, Sam just got like her nails done and it was basically like, I mean, it wasn't actually pressed flowers, but it was mimicking that effect. It looks so Um, cool. Yeah, it does. It looks great. So it's nice like honoring that, you know, often obviously like live flowers are really good to have in your space, Mm -hmm. like from a, from a home perspective, they take negative energy out of the air, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, in terms of like, flowers can become like this kind of like beautiful relic in a way, if you find ways to preserve them. I know that we have uh, one of our artisans uh, makes organite. We've we've had a lot of requests for organite lately and organite actually helps to protect against like an electromagnetic field. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of man-made and nature made materials. So it's like, sometimes you put, you, well, you put metals and crystals and other things into the resin. A lot of times it's like a pyramid Mm -hmm. and this one artisan puts like literally puts flowers from her garden in it. Oh, that's like, awesome. And it just gets sealed. Like a whole flower just gets like sealed in there. Wow. It's so cool. Like, that's how does fantastic. that, how does it stay? Like, how does it stay? Yeah, I would wonder the same thing. I know honestly. it's so crazy, but it's so cool at the same time, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I just think like, I've just been really appreciating the flowers from a safe distance um and you know like I don't know it's just it's nice to to see the transition I think that's one of the reasons why I will never leave 
the Northeast is because yeah. I need, I need my seasons. I need, you know, the fluctuation in the change. It's good for me. It, it yeah. has me, you know, awake and, um, Oh my God, your picturesque cat in the background. Is he? is he sitting on the window? Oh, there he is. You can see him. <laughs> Hello, oh my, my You sweet treated game. him so well. Thank you so much. Oh, so we incredible. had a time. Talk it's about funny. another retreat. I hung out with the cat for four nights. It was, oh, uh, he yeah. was a dream boat. Yeah, isn't he? He really is. He's really just, he's the perfect man. I know. He, like, he is the perfect him. man. <laughs> I don't need any other man. Ever. I know, I know. That little guy right there on the window. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's so cute. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what did you think about me choosing Jade for this month? I mean, we're a little low slow on the take, but 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 a lot of people have been lifting it. Basically. Yeah, I I definitely think it's great. I think it's super interesting that, you know, considering considering its its history that, you know, first I thought it was funny that we hadn't done it yet. I, I, know, was I was like, like Jade what? is it's such a like, you know, well-known crystal, even for people who aren't, you know, familiar with right, you know, with crystals in general. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I don't know. I thought it really it made a lot of sense considering its history, its versatility. I mean, it's like and it goes so far back. Like, yeah, like, like the history of using it as like in amulets and, yeah. and, and just carvings in general, you know? Yeah. Like, like H, it's been in like every, probably to this day, like every ancient or to this day, as I said, up until this day, every Chinese r- ritual. Yeah, exactly. It, it definitely speaks to me somewhat similarly to Lapis in the sense of its yes, uses. Yes. Like, absolutely. I just like, you really... It, it it can be used for so many different things, including the things that you're not expecting, like using right. a crystal for eyeshadow. That sounds crazy. Right, right, right. Patrick right. fucking did it. And th- I mean, the same with, uh, you know, with like all not only different artifacts, tools, mm-hmm. weapons, like infusing jade and weapons to sort of promote uh, you know, a clear mind, good luck, success. Also um, immortality. Yes, that also as well. Like, think about that. I mean, I I can't vouch for like, um, sort of Asian history. Thinking about like rejuvenate, rejuvenating life force or you know reincarnation. But right. I could see how put, infusing jade into a weapon was like gives you the strength that I'm going to carry on. Yeah. One one way or another. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And it's I mean it's it's oh, it's just so fascinating. Like, it's. It's so interesting with the the people out there who think that crystals are kind of like mumbo jumbo and it's like, but like what historically they have been used. It's the for earth. It's the what we have in the earth. Like I how know. could you not like, you know, I mean, this is like I even in itself, it's been no, it's known as um it I mean, I look at it as like a wisdom kind of stone, but it's it's the emperor's stone. Right. Yeah. It's got another like exactly. It's got another regal quality to it. Right. Um, right. It's known as like um, they called it you or the royal gem. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, I just. I get so up in a tiff about it because then you've got the people on Etsy selling Moldavite. Uh, I'm like, that's literally uh, not from our planet. It's not from our planet. No, no, that's, <laughs> that's some space shit, right? Yeah. There. Yeah. I did. I have to say again, tales from the mothership. I did have <laughs> a very good client. I love her to pieces. She's great. And her family and I've done, you know, work on their house and them. And she came in, I haven't seen her since the beginning. And I don't say names all confidential, but she was, uh, I could tell something had shifted in her and she was wearing a mold of Oh, and it, no. and I was like, how you doing? She's like, oh, A, B and C happened. I'm not going to get into it. Yeah. And I was like, I'm like, yeah. So, um, I want you to go in the back, pick something else. Yeah. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to wean you off that. Okay. Yeah. Like we're going to take that off. We're going to put that in a box. Yeah. Think it's over. Think your time is over. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, why are you touching it with oven mitts? It's like, oh, for my <laughs> well, own protection. Yeah, like, I didn't touch it, but I said she she understood. You know, yeah, I was like, yeah. whatever. I'm yeah. not I'm not a crystal docker. I don't play one on TV. No, I do. But um <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, I look at somebody that I feel dear about. I'm like, yeah, don't don't fuck with that. You right. Worn that for too long. Right. Um okay. uh, but listen to this. Do you know that that some of the most influential 
um, jade, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Chinese uh, emperors and what were buried in jade suits. Oh my God. No, but that's sick and also doesn't surprise me. I mean, the, it, it was, it was, it says extremely costly and took years to assemble. I was like, okay, wow. all right, everybody. So I'm this age right now. I want to be buried in a jade suit. Can we get to work? Yeah. You know, cause exactly. I'll be on the planet for at least another 40 years. Exactly. Um, they would use thread of gold, silver, and copper to sew it together. Wow. Fantastic. Sometimes the, there's archaeological discoveries of Prince, Prince Liu Sheng of Dao Wan from the Western Han Dynasty's suit had 2,498 plates of solid jade wow. and 2.5 pounds of gold wire. Fantastic. Yeah, so that particular jade suit was made of 2,498 plates of solid jade and 2.5 pounds of gold wire for this one prince's um dead suit wow. <laughs> the professional term i don't know yeah. i don't know i'm not in that industry the dead uh, suit um let's see there's i will say that it's not easy to get folks yeah you know like i guess that's one reason why i haven't like made it as a crystal of the month because not a lot that i could get you guys that's True. like you know easy to use um, but I will say that like, it's being depleted some of it in certain parts of China. So, you know, we do take our crystal seriously around here, folks. I'm trying, I, well, I don't get any like replicas when I get it, just know, even if it's, there are some variations of course out there, but they're still pure and they have the properties and all that stuff. Um, let's see. Did you find anything cool? Um, I mean, I was mostly the, the research that I was doing when we decided to uh, make it crystal of the month, which was, I really had, and I mean, this was, um, this is what your um, fact just demonstrated to me is that, you know, just the sheer amount of uses um, mm -hmm. with, with Jade. My first exposure to Jade, exper um, embarrassingly enough, was, uh, the Batman Superman movie, the cartoon from the nineties. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the Joker steals this, this huge oh, dragon right. that is com entirely made out of Jade. And it's because he believes that it will up his luck, provide him immortality, great fortune. Yeah. Um, and that's whole. And then, of course, the plot twist is that it's actually uh, made out of kryptonite and he's using it to kill Superman, which is, you know, <gasps> le less likely than, you know, not going to happen with this. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, just just the whole like. The beginning is like a lesson about Jade and what Jade does and, you know, the, mm -hmm. the beliefs. And it's just, it's fascinating. I mean, so it's weirdly enough kind of been a, a key aspect of my childhood. That is somewhat so funny. unintentionally, which I just think is, is so funny. Um, well, they say it's funny when you talk about the value of Jade, like they say, literally, there's like a proverb. It says that gold has a price, but Jade is priceless. Mm hmm and I guess like, you know, not, I'm not getting very scientific today. Sometimes we do, but we're, right. we're just, a, but it's like, it, it's, what do they call it? It's not like fungible, like gold is right. It's not like a single polished, like crystal or anything like that. It's more like, um, it, it's, it's kind of, it's interlocking micro crystals that right. come into like more of a form, you know, different types of jade anyway. Right. Right. I've also, um, like a, a lot of research that uh, came up with uh, researching Jade was also the physical benefits of it, mm. uh, particularly uh, blood circulation um, and just dealing with, you know, chronic pain. Mm -hmm. um, I'm now looking, um, oh my God, I'm going to butcher this. So ah. the, name, the name Jade comes from the Spanish expression, uh, Piedra de Ijada. Okay. Um, and the literal translation is stone for the pain in the side. 
Oh, um, cool. Right. And, and so with that comes sort of this uh, somewhat loose interpretation of like a physical pain, like a physical pain in your side, but yeah. also pain inside. Yeah. Um, oh, so wow. it's, huh. you know, it just, again, harps on its versatility and the different, you know, benefits that it has, but you know, we talk about the the spiritual benefits of crystals. And while that is incredibly important, I feel like I am definitely quick to forget that there's also physical. Uh, yeah, you know, always with the yeah, crystals. I know yeah. I get a lot more of that lately too. It's like, I'm always looking and I've myself, like I had a few ailments last few months and I'm like, where's that? Uh, I had fuchsite. It was, had this big slab of fuchsite. I just mm-hmm. like lay on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know I've been, I mean, I now have my, my little, my little shrine right back there. Oh, I can see that. You're like, oh, there's my cat. (laughs) (laughs) We all have, you know, our different sanctuary windowsill props. Yours is a living furry beast. (laughs) Mine is the crystals. Um, But so, you know, I've definitely just like sleeping next to them. I've, I've found that it's just, I mean, I don't, I'm lucky enough to not really have many physical ailments. I guess the universe was like, we'll put them all in her brain. No. Uh, <laughs> um, but so, you know, just like, I just the, the, the feeling of calm. And I mean, the brain is kind of the, the leader of the body, you know, if, yes, you're, if you're in the right headspace, you know, it's, it's not, it's, that will also manifest physically in the same way that, you know, stress and depression does. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was so funny. I, my roommate and best friend, Nina, friend of the pod, um, we're, we're like, by the way, you and I'll talk about this. It's time to bring some guests on. Oh, I totally agree. I mm-hmm. totally agree. Um, and what better than, you know, a, a recently retired Catholic, ah! uh, <laughs> um, but so she was saying when I was watching the store that she wanted me to, um, pick out some crystals for her, um, because she's, you know, navigating her way, freshly graduated, you know, figuring it out. So I was like, I'm, I've got you. Then of course she tells me that she's been on TikTok and she was like, I heard of this one crystal. That's like, it's got a lot of benefits and, you know, and she was like, it's on Etsy. And I was like, is it fucking mold of idea? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, like, that's it. And I was like, so you know how you won't like touch a Ouija board for like, yeah. that reason? I was like, that's the same thing. It's a Ouija board in crystal form. I'm like, exactly. people get sick from it. Like there's just no, like there's no filter. She was like, I don't want that. So like, of course I get her, like I get her a bunch of things. And then it's so funny. Cause I, I always mess with her that she's, you know, like high stress, high strung, always needs to be working or else like you're sitting on your ass and you're not being efficient. Hey, Nina, have we done your chart yet? We definitely should, but it was, so I gave her a little bowl (laughs) and she picks up one and she's like, I love this one. Which one is this? And I was like, that's the blue Argonite. It's for emotional calming. I love how that's the one you picked up first. I love it. I love it. You stressful shit. You (laughs) like, and so like that just like, and I mean, she's, she's, not necessarily, I would say she's agnostic about crystals. She doesn't really know what to feel agnostic, about them. Agnostic, that's a good one. Yeah, she's crystal agnostic, but she's not crystal adverse. So she like, and she couldn't even, she was like the fact that like, that's the one I fucking pick up is mm-hmm. the one that's supposed to calm you down. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, listen, man, like it, they're, they're real. It's doing the shit. Like you just experienced it. Yeah. Um, so now she has a little, a little bowl uh, with like five crystals that I picked out for That's her. That's amazing. Yeah. It's great. I'm, I'm getting them on board. They're, they're here. They're coming. Awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, that's point in case of like, when we get everybody in and we're like, Oh, you know, friend, we make friends with the crystals. We see yeah. how they work. I mean, I, this has been so such a delight lately, just watching people do that, like this work. And then people come back in, you know what, maybe we should make a message board of some sort. Remember yeah. we were talking about that where people could put in um, what benefits they got from it? Yeah, definitely. Oh my God, we should make that happen. Like we were talking about with the, whatever the heck that thing is, Substack or some, something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like cute. we, we, I think we've like kind of like put a toe in the water on that with like the majestic tribe or uses, which is yes, like, you exactly. know, a, a, a personalized explanation on how this crystal benefits this specific friend of the hub. 
Yeah. Um, but definitely, I think maybe like having that expand into, yeah, you know, something. like a platform where right. people can share and we can also get people to be like, fucking run from Moldavite. Like the yeah. internet <laughs> is tricking you into yeah, thinking yeah. it's it bad. It's just yeah. things are, there are bad things. There I know. Are bad things. Oh there are God. bad things, <laughs> and, you know, and, and it's, you know, it's not from the planet. It's not from Mother Earth. <laughs> Get rid of I'm it. trying to think of like the last couple of things I thought maybe a good way to close and this would be good for you going into your day right I'm feeling called to do it with um just jade in mind or something like that is mm-hmm. that a lot of times I like to do the meditation that connect because you were saying you got it all in your mind yeah, yes. in the body you know a right. lot of times people say it's like coming from the heart whereas like so a lot of times I do a lot of heart meditations that like I mean meditations that connect the heart to the mind. Mm-hmm. But I think because of the aspect of like integrity and bravery, which right. made, like right. maybe I could just kind of like <laughs> you hear that the cat just like almost fell off the windowsill. Oh my God. He's like hanging like ah. <laughs> there's your ASMR for today, folks. Yeah. Cat's cat's fingers. That's uh, yeah. Hare's plummeting. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so funny. <laughs> but I could kind of like just kind of channel into a little meditation let's do it let's just close a little bit with everybody because i'm just going to float into this Mm -hmm. just want to say that we're like back on track you'll definitely be healing from us in june and we will be very effervescent i have no doubt about that oh yeah (laughs) hell yeah if anybody has any ideas of like the crystal month they want for june you could let us know we'll probably do it like mid-june at this point but yeah yeah definitely mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know and we're the birthday girls so exactly we'll we just get pick. to pick <laughs> yeah, exactly good point <laughs> we'll be wearing crowns yes. year, just so you know yes <laughs> us in our jade dead suits just taking <laughs> over the world you could send us flowers to this p.o box yes exactly and we'll be pressing them <laughs> yes into our nails. <laughs> We're just getting started, folks. I know. We're back. So <laughs> anyway, um, nice to talk to you all. We're going to see you real again real soon. And you will see a lot of us this summer. If you're in the area, do come to our workshops that will be coming about. Mm-hmm. And um, we will talk to you really soon. Yeah. Awesome. And now onward with the, the Jade experience. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm good. You're my, you're my little person here. So, I'm ready. So clean. I'm the vessel. She's the vessel it. right now. So yes. I'm talking to Ellie, but I'm talking to all of you all at once. Mm-hmm. Okay. So take a deep breath in and out and softly close your eyes. I just want to say that if you begin this meditation, you can, uh, obviously, if you have a piece of jade nearby, use it by placing it in the palm of your hand. So this is a seated meditation. I would suggest doing this upright because it's a meditation that's sort of coming in. It's one of integrity. It's one of strength, bravery. It's it's um, immortality is the word that's been coming up during this time together. Um, and it's a stone that, because it's a stone that they say is priceless, I want to, I want to start with us by thinking wherever you are, your feet are grounded on the ground, right? So make sure all four corners of your feet are grounded. And with the next few breaths, I want you to inhale as if you were inhaling from the bottom of your feet, actually. So whether you want to think about it as like a white light or a green light that can basically float its way upwards until it gets, first stop is the heart center. Just enough gas to get to the heart center, right? And then I want you to pause there. So we're connecting the deep root, our integrity, we bring it straight up to the heart center, that benevolence, that compassion. And I want this breath, this breath that you are, that you're working with to be a, a more of a stronger breath than you're used to. Often I tell you to soften your breath. 
with this breath, I want you to really visualize that connection from the feet up to the heart. So what we're doing is we're creating a pathway straight up through our being. It's like a metaphysical formation of jade, just cleansing the spirit. Now this may be some place that you need to stay for a while, okay? So for some of us, that connection from the earth to our heart, you know, it might it might need a little time, right? So if that's for you, if you are feeling that you need to kind of, you know, um, let that wheel keep churning, then you stay here. You stay with that connection between the earth and your heart. But for those of you that want to take it one step further, we're going to take that green light. We're going to take that and we're going to now connect it. It's the very crown of the head, but don't be afraid to make a little pit stop at your third eye. And this becomes a separate link in this meditation, in this breath work, in this pattern of strengthening, you know, this energy in our body and our own crystalline structure that gives us great clarity so the breath now links from the heart to the mind's eye and then finally to the crown and the crown particularly in Buddhist Chinese practices is known as the thousand petaled lotus that just opens. So there's our flower reference again too, right? Enlightenment, nirvana opens like a beautiful, beautiful flower. So stay with your breath. If you have to come back down, back to the heart, bring your hands to your heart, you know, lay your crystal near your heart. If you need to come back down to the earth, just continue to oil those wheels so that through the body, through the energy centers, through the mind's eye, through the spirit, through anything, whatever you want to bring it in your body. This is what we were talking about. This can be a, a wisdom that we're creating through this jade meditation that's strong and willful and, and, and hearty like the stone. But it also can be very much in our mind's eye, with great clarity and honesty for ourselves, making us completely beautiful and unique, every one of us, like every beautiful piece of jade on the planet so whether complex or simplicity just tuning into authenticity today and every day whether it was carved into intricate intricate formations or just a simple simple place There you have it. <laughs>